Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mappers Paradise. And we have uh, problems today. So uh, if you watched the previous episode, we cut a whole bunch of grass with the intent of turning it into um, hay and silage. And we spent a bunch of time over on the other farm here. And I'm going to jump over here to talk about the problems that we're having. And uh, we brought our grass over here with the intent of putting it into the silage bunk and turning it into silage. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work. We couldn't put any um, grass here. It's not accepted here. Um, I don't know if there was an issue with the map, with this mod that the bunk is. And so we tried to place down a fermenting silo over here. And we ran into some problems where we weren't able to place it uh, most places. Um, and um, just to demonstrate that, I can't put it anywhere in this field. Um, you know, so I don't know uh, what's going on with this plot of land. And then we finally found a spot right here where we could place it we couldn't dump anything into it. So I didn't actually bother saving the last five minutes of the game last time uh, where we had this fermenting silo uh, because it wouldn't accept grass after I placed it here. And I've spent a lot of time troubleshooting, trying different mods, different things. Um, and I think it's actually related to this whole animal yard piece of land uh, because I can't cut grass anywhere in here. Um, and so... After trying a bunch of different mods and different um, placing things in different ways and looking at the map, I wasn't able to fix this. In fact, I, I was like, okay, well, let's just take the grass we have and feed our cows at the cow pen directly with the grass. Can't even put grass in the cow structure directly out of my loading wagon. And so at that point, I was about to give up when I decided to um, see if I could place a silo somewhere else on the map and have it work. And so I tried to place it somewhere on the farm. Um, it's also set up. I can't place it anywhere here. I know there's, you know, place anywhere type mods um, that can help with that. I don't have any of those installed right now. And so this happened to be one of the few uh, sort of out of the way places I could put it. And lo and behold, I can put grass in and have it turn to silage over here. So there's definitely a problem with that whole animal yard farm on the other side of the map that's not letting me do anything with grass. And so given that, um, whoa, what happened here? I had the pickup bringing back uh, this pickup, uh, the pick up for the forage harvester and apparently we have not only crashed but merged ourselves into this uh, wagon um, so given all these problems that we're having I think that what I'm going to do wow what is going on here um, what I'm going to do is drop this thing off here um, is we're going to turn all of this grass in this field this episode into silage. We're just going to put it into this big this silage uh, uh, silo over here, fermenting silo. And um, not worry about trying to do hay and TMR and all this stuff. Because it's going to be kind of a pain to drive the silage all the way over to the other cow farm. And I, I have tested... Um, I, I leased a trailer off camera and I was messing around because I didn't really want to invest in trying to record a whole episode here if uh, this wasn't going to work out for us. And so I tested making just a little bit of silage, drove it all the way over to the cow farm, and I am able to put silage in for the cows. And so given that, I think that the plan is to turn all this into silage and we'll just feed our beef cows with silage until uh, until they're ready to be sold. And then we're probably going to be done with cows on this map. 
And uh, given that I can't do anything with grass in that whole area over there, I'm thinking the sheep aren't going to work either. Um, so, you know, I think that we're probably going to just um, carry these animals through to completion and then move on to some other feature function on the map. Um, obviously, staying focused on uh, the arables and stuff since that is, uh, you know, more true to the series anyway. Uh, my That's more my uh, focus generally. So, uh, But as you can see here, we can put all this grass right into uh, this silo. And it should be going in here. I get 193 tons. And it's going to, I've got 249 tons of silage capacity there. Yeah, it should work out good. So with that, I need to see if I can get this thing set up to accept. And is my pipe out? My pipe is out. And so we only did like one pass with this last time. I just want to make sure I'm going to be able to figure out how to get this working again. Um, so yeah, so it's a little uh, uh, disappointing the animals aren't working. Uh, I was uh, having a little bit of fun keeping that going, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll obviously have a little bit more time with these cows. And then I do want to try the chickens out uh, in seasons because they're a little bit different uh, than they are in the base game. And that's a whole separate set of land. So, you know, we'll try that out. And then we got the pig farm that's right here next to the main farm, which will be a lot less uh, time wasted going back and forth uh, to the farm. So we're definitely going to try those out still. And in the meantime, you know, I've been... Uh, reporting uh, issues that I find with the map over to Mapper's Paradise, so I'm sure that he's uh, working on getting those things uh, fixed up in the released version. So I'm going to, you know, write up some of the issues that we found and pass those along. Uh, you know, kind of viewing this, you know, it was taken down off of the Giants Mod Hub due to various issues that were found. So, you know, I think that this is kind of more of a early release uh, uh, testing. Uh, build anyway is how I'm viewing it so I'm really curious to see how the fully released version will do I'm not uh, um, not too upset about all this there's bugs happen there's a lot of different things on this map to test out so we'll keep uh, passing issues along as we find them in the meantime though we have got a lot of grass to pick up here so let's get to it I got Get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions Just to show me What's on the other side of inhibition No apologies, my baby I tell you do cause I'm feeling so good Okay, so I switched to the steering wheel here after the unload, and uh, uh, I was doing way better with the keyboard. I thought this was going to be easier. Driving backwards for some reason, 
a little bit of a struggle. Like, I always think it's going to be a more interesting camera shot if I can do stuff like this. Um, but then I just end up driving horribly. So let's, uh, let's see if we can work on our camera skills to do a more interesting shots. But, uh, I don't know, it's just... I'm curious to know, you know, do... A lot of people I've seen, you know, like to take really cool looking screenshots and I'm always like, oh, that's awesome, but how do you get a shot like that with the tractor in motion? I just can't wrap my head around uh, driving from this different orientation. Anyhow, these are the struggles of uh, trying to record on YouTube. The balance of making it look cool and uh, actually playing the game. better. We just need practice. Some days I'm not myself. There's no one I can turn to. All the feelings that we shared are in the past. Your relationships are never meant to last. I thought it'd be fun to try out in-person mode for a pass or two. Uh, but I'm already wondering how all this is going to work, so we're going to find out. I also forgot about this little, uh, whoops, let's go this way. Um, this little uh, section or road back here behind the, the silos. Now, it just... The field of view where the in this tractor feels odd. Like, I'm going to hop out here for a second. And this isn't a tractor problem, I guess, so much as a... Um, farm sim problem. Like, I feel like I should be able to see my wheels better. It's just weird. Alright, so let's see here. I need to look at this thing. Is that... that okay, so that's unfolded. And if we turn things on, and then I'm gonna go like so. And there we go. I guess I'd be looking more like that. Oh, that wasn't a full thing. All right, hang on. Let's try this. I can't zoom out. I just want to zoom out. 
go to the end of the row here. I'm going to turn around and pick up a whole row. We'll do one of these and then go back to external mode or I'm going to uh, probably lose my mind. But uh, I do want to keep uh, trying new things out, so... Well, that feels a little bit more natural, but this is like uh, one of those situations. I think my I feel like my field of view should be slightly wider. I think what I really need to try out is a track IR thing that I've seen people using, where you can turn your head to move the camera view. I think that would help me a lot to do in cab driving. Um, realistically when you're on the farm you're moving your head back and forth you know looking where you're going looking back and I never really bothered um, thinking about it too much because when you're doing time-lapse and a few of you have commented on this I'm having a hard time switching between time-lapse and um, normal play mode looking around a lot in the time-lapse is not really great because one, by the time you speed it up things don't look so great and so I'm trying to uh, adjust here to playing in real time while talking and doing all that stuff. And playing more in cab while doing that, actually not a horrible experience. Um, I, don't, I haven't played farm sim in cab that much, to be honest. Um, and so, you know, kind of missing out on, I guess, on the simulator experience of farming simulator uh, in that I'm not really haven't done a lot of uh, the realistic play style um, like this and so I don't know I, like I, I enjoy being outside of the tractor a bit more I think I'm not sure we're gonna try a few different jobs over the next several episodes and in, in cab uh, and see how it goes and then decide if this is something that I want to do more of or uh, stick to my previous style. And so I'll be curious, you know, to hear your feedback as always. Because uh, a big part of what I'm trying to do is uh, keep things uh, somewhat entertaining. We are going back to external now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. And we can try and adjust our play style a little bit and keep trying new things um this series especially has been uh, uh good for that so jumping back to the farming for a bit here um, once we get this grass up off of this field, we're going to need to plant uh, corn back in here. And I'm super excited that um, JHHG Modding has released their update to the DB60. So I'm using... <clears throat> so I'm using the DB60 uh, mod that was previously released on their page. Well, that was more of a beta release. And so there were, I mean, it worked, um, one of the best, you know, decent working DB60s that are out there. Um, but um, the new version has support for all the cool things like uh, the manure system. Uh, so we'll be able to fill up our liquid fertilizer like we are uh, filling up the sprayer, uh, which is going to be awesome because that's something that I was already talking about adding to that mod on my own. And so now... Um, we're going to be able to use our hoses and liquid manure or liquid fertilizer um, trailers to do all of our fertilizer applications. And so that's really cool. Um, going to simplify some things, but also let us use you know, the really cool feature functions that uh, we've been playing with lately. So um, that'll be a more consistent approach, I guess, is the best way to say that uh, across things on the farm. And then, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some corn back in here uh, as soon as we're done with this.
Looks like we're getting a fair amount of grass here. Silage is starting to build up. So we've got definitely, I think, more than enough silage to uh, finish off the cows that we've got without any problems. Uh, we've got one more run down here. We're just going to go pick up the uh, odds and ends on the end of the field here. I have to say, like, I lean more towards... Uh, um, modern equipment most of the time but this has been a really fun little uh, forage wagon and uh, you know forge pickup here to play around with I've really enjoyed this New Holland mods on um, this and the mower um, just you know really good you know older style equipment to play around with um, not sure it's my style like if I was gonna keep running animals I would uh, likely have to upgrade all of this equipment to the, you know, more modern equi uh, equivalent. You know, it just took way too long to uh, um, do some of these jobs, but uh, as a one-off, this was a lot of fun. And so, if this is a style of equipment that you're uh, interested in, this was a pretty quality mod, worked pretty good. I um, recommend checking it out. Uh, I believe... Ooh, I don't want to say the wrong modding team, but I want to say this was all off of the Appalachia's modding um, did the pickup and the um, trailer here. Uh, I will remember what that is and put a link in the description just to make sure that I'm not speaking incorrectly. Um, 
I know I linked these uh, back when we originally bought them as well. I talked about it, so um, yeah. Either way, this has been a, a really fun little mod, a uh, couple of mods to play with. So I'm glad we decided to check them out. And uh, yeah, this has been uh, an interesting experience, and this is why I wanted to try out all the features on this map as we played through, um, just to see. If you know how things are working or in this case not working um, not too frustrated about it um, looking forward to passing all of this information along to Mappers Paradise to see if we can get these things resolved before the uh, official release uh, of the map or at least patched in af uh, uh, afterwards so that uh, other people aren't running into uh, issues and uh, yeah, this is this has been awesome. So uh, with that, I think we're gonna wrap the episode up uh, here. I was hoping to get into the planting, but I just realized I don't think I installed our new planter mod. So uh, I, I definitely want to get the uh, new planter in here since it just came out uh, uh, in the last couple of days and give that a shot. So we're gonna postpone that to next episode and. Uh, then we're going to have some spraying to do as well uh, before we get into harvest next. So uh, next episode should take care of most of our middle of the year uh, type stuff and start leading us back into a harvest, which is going to be a lot of fun uh, because we've got a uh, um, little bit more land and some different things to do. Um, I am going to have to decide what to do with the land that we were thinking about using a silage harvester on now. Um, we may rethink that field over there knowing that we're not going to be able to do cows now. So that's the only thing that we have to kind of change course on. And maybe um, as we bring the planter in to plant this field, um, I'll also plant... Um, that other bit that we'd seeded as grass um, might get planted as corn as well. So we'll definitely look into that uh, here next episode as well. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm going to end things here. So that's all for today. Keterk, out. <laughs>